I cannot marry a northerner again. I'm not even joking. Our northern people are very hard to deal with. Every northerner knows that. I'm not ashamed to say that I am a northerner. Dating them is something else. Marrying them is horribly something else. Because they are very difficult people. They don't understand why you should work. They don't understand when you even have money more than your husband and wife. I know in my situation, mm. you don't know the type of agreements I had with him. But you sit back home and you insult me. Forgetting I'm a human being just like you. But trust me, I cursed all those people like no jokes. Mm. Yeah, if you know you insulted me some time ago and your life is really not going well, trust me, it's from that time because I actually cursed you. I went through a lot having him in terms of me being alone in the States, so many things happening, me in the delivery room alone. All these things. Your husband had, had gone to play or? Obviously, I wanted to have him in the States. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he is in France. He can't leave his job. The, the job is demand. That's their first wife. Oh. Hmm. You that you're married, you're the, in fact, you're the third wife. Hmm. Second cries, you are too good. Third wife. So it became very hard for me. I, I, I wanted to do what I wanted to do for my child. And so, fine, okay. You have to work. You have to come and see us. And he came, he left. And he coming back again, my son had already popped up because he was preterm. He came way before. I was really mm -hmm. sick. I'm not joking. My BP was rising. I was just a BP. I didn't know what I was up to. My mom had to come and she had to renew her visa. The date they gave her was. Oh, so I didn't have nobody. So that's when my postpartum depression started. started. Before leaving the hospital, the doctor told me, you're suffering from postpartum depression. So we started counseling. Counseling, counseling, counseling. I got to Portugal. He didn't want me to continue. Mm. He was thinking the doctors are just going to chop my money. Or oh, his money. Well, it wasn't my money. <laughs> and I didn't have money. What am I going to say? I'm not working. Mm. What, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? I just had to be there. I got to a time I said I wanted to come back to Ghana. I, I can't live anywhere apart from Ghana, honestly. It's going to be just for a short while.